This is my starting point of the bike route right by the George Dunn Golf Course. On your left. There's that first blind turn up here where I had a collision one time, so you really got to be careful, especially in the summertime when all the foliage is on the trees. Spring and winter, not so much of a problem. I should say early spring. bicycle I'm now riding is a Sedona Giant mountain bike with front suspension. The other bikes, or the other bike that I was on was a Cannondale Cat 8 made in America, though one of the last ones, a 2006 model, a road bike, racing bike. The first two miles here features this challenging grade here. Not that bad, but a challenge nonetheless. With the ca camera in my hand, I gotta sit and do it. You can hear my breathing that it's hard. <clears throat> Almost at the top. This is my second bike ride today. I'm going for a mile swim. That's my destination on this ride. This goes around the golf course, the George Dunn golf course. To the right, you can see the fence and the trees. in there that's the golf course now this is the Yankee Woods part of it's an oak forest and parts in Tinley Park um, right up there at that bend up there at the end of the, on the horizon there that's Tinley Park This is a typical 1950s style neighborhood, Tinley Park. Although these homes are probably built in the early 70s, but still part of that neighborhood. And of course the golf course is over here side of the fence but you can't see it sorry
some of the wildlife you see through here, you see a lot of deer, of course squirrels and birds, and once in a while coyotes, and you'll see a garter snake from time to time staying trying to thermoregulate on the on the blacktop. Being cold blooded, they need that warmth to digest their meals. There was a split there, that other split would have taken me to Oak Park Avenue, just south of 159th, where the proposed dog park is going to be, supposedly in June, but I haven't seen any progress done on it, so I don't think it's going to happen. Now, after heavy rains, this area here is low lying. Sometimes it's flooded and you can't even pass it. See all the cattails? That explains the, all the moisture, kind of a marshy type area. Again, that fence separates the golf course from the path here. Okay, you see the cars up there, that's 159th approaching Ridgeland, and that's where my last trip started, so we're overlapping here now. This is US 6 here, or 159th Street. Okay, well that concludes my entire bike route, or 16 mile route anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. I plan on making a bike vision video on it so I can use it in the, my stationary bike in the winter. I hope you enjoyed it.